we've got to this stage, what we might want to do is go ahead and add in these fillets on the corners. And if you look at the pencil sharpener from above, or if you've got one at home, you'll find that the, the corners are rounded. And what you might be fooled into doing is just drawing a quarter of a circle and trying to draw those circles in, or, or quarters of a circle in each corner. But of course, we're still dealing with this in isometric. So you can see here I've drawn a circle and you can see that each of these corners could be represented by each of these corners. So this has given me an idea of what each corner should look like with this point here and this point here being this corner here. And then from here to here is the style curve that I'm going to want to put in this corner. Here to here is what I'm going to want to put in this corner, and here to here is what I'm going to want to put in this corner. Now obviously I don't want a curve quite as big as this, in fact these fillets are very small, they're probably going to be a, a quarter of a square. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to freehand put these in, but I'm going to use this as a guide of what those curves should look like. So this is going to be a long shallow curve. So here I'm going to go halfway to halfway. And I'm just going to put in that long shallow curve and again I'm thinking driving my car down long shallow curve and up. This one here this is going to be much steeper because I've got to take my car from here to here so it's going to be much curvier so it's going to be this one here. So I'm drawing the same as this curve but much smaller here and I'm starting from the midpoint and the midpoint here. So I'm going to curve that round like that. Again, this one here is the same as this top one, so it's a big long sweeping curve. Halfway point here, and coming up here, halfway and round. And this one here, that sharp one again. This just makes my drawing look a little bit more realistic, uh, copying the real pencil sharpener. And of course, I'm going to need to do the same for the bottom. So I'm going to need the same on the bottom here. So it's going to come from here, sweeping curve. Now this one is a bit tricky, but I've got to imagine that there is a, a line here. So I'm going to go halfway through and sweep round. And the same here, it's going to go halfway through and sweep round. Now, these bottom ones here are a little bit tricky because now what I've got to do is I've got to draw new lines going from the top to the bottom. In fact, this one here I just want to erase because this is just a nice gentle curve. But here at some point, the pencil sharpener will disappear around the edge. I'm not actually seeing an edge here. I'm seeing it disappear and I no longer see it. So I want to go from the furthest point out and the furthest point out. So I'm just going to sketch that line in there and that would be my new line. And I'm going to want to erase the old one. Anything past that line, I wouldn't be able to see. So that imaginary line that I was looking at there needs to go. And I just need my curve up until that point. And then that's going to go up. Same over here. I'm going to have to join these ones up. Might be easier to rub the old line out first. And Join these up. And last but not least, that front one. And a little bit joint out at the bottom. And there we go, folks. Uh, hopefully now you've got something that looks much more like a pencil sharpener. Um, the last thing that we need to do is to add a bit more depth to this screw, because this screw obviously does pop up and out and we also need to pen and ink this in. So I'll see you in the next video for the tutorial on that.